Welcome everyone to your December 2022 forecast. I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. Before we get into the forecast, this of course is a general reading for a personal reading or for a coaching session. Go ahead and book some time with me. My information is in the description box below. Forecasts for each life path number for 2023 are up now. Be sure to check yours out if you haven't already, as we move from the six year into the vibration of a seven year for 2023. Lots of interesting stuff coming up. This, of course, is a great time to order, if you haven't already, to order your personal year ahead forecast for 2023. Uh, I have those on my website available, so head on over there and get yours today. Okay, so as always, first I'm going to take a look at the universal cycle for the month of December, and then we will break it down for each individual life path number. So December 2022 is a universal nine cycle. And I really do actually love this energy as we begin to sort of close out the year and prepare to step into a new frequency. The energy of the, of the nine allows us to reflect on the past year, to slow down a bit and recap, what do we feel worked for us? What do we want to maybe make adjustments to moving forward? Or now that we know what we know, would we do anything differently if given the chance? While understanding that sometimes we need to take the chance ourselves instead of waiting for it to be given. Also, is there anything that we want to sort of close out and leave behind, sort of shed as we step into the new energy of 2023? Any old belief systems, habits, grudges, and so on. This is a great time to leave those behind. This is actually a really beautiful and symbolic energy to shed that old skin, sort of like a snake, and leave it behind as we move much lighter and freer into a new chapter. So make time for self, um, self-reflection this, this month and honor what comes up for you without judgment, right? So if you feel strongly about something, move in that direction, follow it, follow it, right? See where it takes you. This can be a great month for getting organized and clearing out the clutter, body, mind, and spirit. And again, it's kind of like when you're going through old things, like, you know, from your childhood or from your teen years or whatever, right? Or last year, <laughs> And there's sentimental value to some of those things, right? Again, whether it's a belief, whether it's um, a person, whether it's a thing, whatever. Um, there can be some, obviously some, some attachment to those things, some sentimental value. And so it can be challenging to release it, to let it go. And so then we start to create clutter, right? We start to hold on to things that are no more, like no longer relevant, that don't really assist us in any way, um, that aren't aiding or um, adding to our journey. And so they just sort of take up space, body, mind, spirit, um, and they don't really need to be there any longer. And so we, those are the things that we sort of really need to take a look at and see where can we release these things? Where can we, um, move beyond them and again, clear the space for something new to come in. And it can be a little challenging because we've got that, you know, there's that nostalgia to it, that sentimental value. And so, just have to find a way to honor it and release it and move forward. Um, and this is a great time to do it during a nine energy. This can be an incredibly active period for dreaming and imagination. So pay attention, pay very close attention to your daydreams, to your night dreams, and see where they're taking you now. New plans, new ideas can come in through these dreams. And with such an extremely vivid imagination, this can be a beautifully creative period for turning those dreams into reality come 2023. Allow the ideas to germinate now. Write them down, play with them, be open to what comes in, no matter how big they are, no matter how outside the box they are. This is an energy to play with those, to follow them, to explore, to let your imagination run wild. This isn't necessarily the energy to begin implementing or to, you know, begin creating whatever those, those, those big ideas are. Um, but explore them, 
explore them, allow your, again, allow, allow your imagination to run wild, you know, follow those dreams, write those dreams down. Um, and you know, if you are telling yourself that you're not capable of doing something that you're dreaming about, deconstruct that. Why are you telling yourself that? What are the obstacles? How can you overcome those obstacles? Who do you need to reach out to um, who maybe has strengths in those areas that you have some limitations or some weaknesses? This is a great time to start that planning process to explore. So use this month um, and the magic of this month in, in that way. And yeah, allow yourself to dream big. Allow yourself to dream outside the box. And to start planning how you'll, you know, achieve those big dreams. Pay attention to your thoughts this month. Where are they trying to take you? Can you explore further? Are there, are there thoughts worth grabbing onto and doing something with? And are there thoughts that are keeping you sort of stuck, right? Um, because those, those thoughts that are keeping you stuck, right? Those thoughts that come in that are, um, sort of holding you in, in one place. Uh, they're trying to show you where potentially there's some deeper work to be done. Right. And so every, everything sort of serves a purpose. Right. And so even those thoughts that were like, you know, are more negative or again, kind of holding us back, there's something deeper there to be looked at. And so those thoughts coming in are highlighting those areas for us. So pay attention to them. You don't have to grab onto them. You don't have to, you know, do anything with them other than again, to kind of deconstruct them, to look at sort of the root cause of them um, and sort of go from there. But pay attention to your thoughts this month, especially under a nine energy. Um, your dreams, your, you know, your daydreams, your thoughts, all of these things, can hold a lot of deeper meaning this month, more so than under uh, other energies. So just pay attention. This month can feel sort of, like I said, very ethereal, more, again, more imagination, more ideas, more feelings floating about. Play in this lofty realm and explore, right? But also find ways to stay grounded and in your body. You need to be present to have the full experience that this nine energy can bring this month. So your dreams and visions this month can serve as the guidepost for the future direction that you're meant to follow. Um, but you have to stay present and grounded to, to sort of see them through, right? To start that process, uh, to experience the human experience, right? With nine energy, the channel to the unseen is wide open. So again, see what comes through for you and try to have fun with it, right? Again, take the pressure off, just kind of flow with it. Let it, there's no, you have, you know, by exploring something, you're not obligated to follow through with it, right? You're just seeing where it takes you and seeing if there's a connection and seeing if it's, if it feels right for you. If it doesn't, you release it. If it does, then continue to explore, right? So this is a beautiful energy for all of that. So again, um, give yourself the permission to dream big, to play in the world of imagination, because that's where it all begins when it comes to creation and creating the life of your dreams. And what a perfect time to be exploring as we sit at the cusp of a new year and a new energetic vibration for 2023. So this month, the energy of the nine sort of invites us to stay present while considering changes. Okay, before we get into the individual life path numbers, I want to wish you all a very happy holiday season and a very joyous new year. All right, let's take a look at the, the individual life path numbers now. Life path 33.6. So I pulled an animal spirit message for you all for December and beautiful energy coming through with dove spirit. And so what I love about this is you're closing out the year 2022 with this beautiful, peaceful energy coming through. So of course, with Dove, we've got divine messages, we've got peace. And what's interesting also is this energy, this very nurturing energy, almost like mother, motherly or like motherhood or something like that. Um, it's a very nurturing energy. It's very much 33, six energy. Um, just incredibly beautiful. I feel like in, in another reading, I feel like it was a while ago, but you guys got dove 
energy as well. Um, but it's just, it just signify, it's just the epitome of 33, six energy. So I love that you're getting this in December, uh, just incredibly beautiful. And so what I also love about this is that of course, collectively we are working with nine energy and that is so that's such spiritual energy. And it really does, um, work really, really well with your energy. So I love, uh, that there's sort of this collaborative energy, uh, with 33s and nines, uh, this, this, this month of December. So really it's like the channels are wide open. Um, even more so I know, you know, 33 is such a spiritual energy anyway, but couple that with a nine and you've just got this opportunity for just lots of downloads, very intuitive, uh, uh, messages coming through very like spiritual psychic. Um, again, the channels are open, the veil is thin, lots of opportunities for divine messages to come through. And, and I would say, especially, um, in dreams. So pay attention. I know I said this in the intro, but pay attention to your daydreams, your night dreams, to your imagination. Um, if you're an artist, pay attention to what comes through for you as you are creating, uh, you know, ultimately we're all artists, right? But if you, uh, if you do artwork with your hands or, you know, just where you're, yeah, where the, the message is sort of moving through you in that way, just pay attention to, for, to what sort of stands out for you. Um, because there is the potential for a lot of insights, um, downloads and yeah, just divine messages, especially with dove message come or with dove energy coming through. So really, really beautiful. Also this message of peace. So if there's any like relationships or anywhere where you have to make amends or, um, bring the peace to the situation or, um, or just find that peace for yourself, right? Like sometimes we can't have those physical encounters with that person or those people. Um, it's not safe or it's not healthy or whatever. Um, but you can always do the energetic work yourself, right? To come to a place of forgiveness, to come to a place of some level of peace for yourself so that you're not taking that energy of uh, resentment, anger, frustration, any of those sort of, you know, judgment, regret, whatever, um, that you're not taking that into a new energetic cycle, uh, when you don't need to type thing. And so December could be an opportunity for you to start that work or to really, really focus on, finding your peace with some situation that has, has been troubling you. Um, this can be a great time for that. And then of course, with that sort of motherhood energy, this could be a time where some of you find out that you're going to be a mother or a father, um, you know, a parent that's very possible. You could be, you know, having a child at this point in time, that's very possible, but it's a very nurturing energy. And so you may find in, in December that more people sort of are drawn to you, that they need your assistance more. Um, so the key of course, to that would be because that definitely plays into your 33, six energy. The key of course is to just make sure you don't spread yourself too thin, that you are setting healthy boundaries, that you're saying no, when you need to say no, um, all of those things but it is a very nurturing energy. And so you may feel sort of more compelled to, I don't know, just give of yourself even more type thing. So just, you know, that's beautiful. Just be sure you're not overextending, right? Cause then you're going to deplete yourself and then, you know, you know how that goes. So beautiful energy with dove coming through. Now, as we look at the month ahead, uh, for December, you all are actually working with your actual life path energy this month. So, Yes, you're working with a nine energy that we're all working with collectively, but for the month of December, 33s are actually going to also be working with six energy. So ultimately that is your life path number. Six is your, your, the root number, right? So that is your life path number. You will step into your six energy in this lifetime. The 33 is an, sort of an extension of that. It's an additional sort of energy that you're meant to master in this lifetime. And of course, as we always say, there's no guarantee of stepping into that, that master level energy in this lifetime. That's up to you and the choices that you make, but you will step into your six energy at some point, right? Um, so the fact that you're working with that in December is, is actually really, really beautiful. Probably what will show up for you 
Uh, and again, this is a general reading, so it's going to vary. But typically what will show up when it's a cycle and it's your life path energy are the things that, you know, that you need to learn to help you to step into that six energy, right? Um, or, you know, rewards from stepping into that energy or mastering something around the six or whatever, right? So you will see something potentially show up that highlights maybe what's sort of what you're missing as as far as stepping into it. So let's say this, let's say that you are a, um, a 33, six who is an overgiver, right? You, you over, you know, you overgive, you overgive, you overgive, and you never receive. Um, and that causes resentment or frustration or alienation or whatever, right? You may face circumstances this month that emphasize that, you know, give you the opportunity to either choose to overgive or choose to set healthy boundaries. Do you see what I'm saying? So, um, finding your balance between, you know, being able to step into your six energy while also setting healthy boundaries for self perseverance, right. Or self preservation. Yeah. Self preservation. Um, or you may see something come in around, unconditional love. So receiving love or how you show up to love or your mindset when it comes to love, you know, your belief systems around love, whatever, uh, those things, if there's, if it's something that, um, you need to, you need help with stepping into that six energy, then you may face some of those, those challenges or those obstacles or those lessons, uh, during December. So that is possible, but it's all assisting you in, again, stepping into your six energy so that you can then down the road, step into, or further step into, um, your 33 energy. So I hope that makes sense. Um, so you are ultimately working with that six energy. Uh, what's beautiful about this too, is you know, the six energy is a very feminine energy. It's a very, it is typically a very like receptive energy. It's a very soft energy, a loving energy, unconditional love, right? Uh, it is the vibration of love, all of those things. And so what I love about that is it's, it's <clears throat> couples so beautifully with the nine. And I know I said that earlier with the dove energy, but it's, it is, it's very much like, um, it's a very spiritual energy. It's very much um, more ethereal, more of a feeling, a presence, right? And then of course, 33 is very much that as well, uh, sort of amplified. But I love that because it's, it's just sort of, op again, sort of opens those channels for those messages to come through, for the inspiration to come through and the big ideas and, you know, ways to better nurture not only others, but yourself type thing. And so it's very possible that that can come in. But anyway, beautiful, beautiful energies that you're working with this month. Okay. And then on the seventh or the eighth, depending on where you live within the world, we've got a full moon coming in on, uh, yeah, December 7th or 8th, uh, for you all, this is going to bring the sort of an emphasis on the energies of the four and the five. And so really with this, I'm really feeling like there could be some swift or major changes when it comes to um, the home, your body, your physical body Four energy can be can sort of represent again, like the 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 physical body, uh, or the physical structure of the home, right? So where the soul resides, or where the physical body resides type thing. So there could be some changes because again, we have five energy. And so that's like swift changes, unexpected changes, shift in direction type thing. You could notice that, um, I don't know, maybe you make want to make changes to the home, to the structure of the home that includes your body, right? Um, maybe something, maybe you are like something comes in abrupt, uh, and you're forced to move, uh, locations, right? Like actually physically move, uh, into another home, something like that. That's very possible as well. There may be some changes to the structure of things or, um, you know, if you've been working to build something, there could be some, some quick changes that come in unexpected changes that sort of shift things for you. And so really, I would just say around this full moon, and again, it's a full moon. So there's something coming to culmination. There's something coming to completion here. Uh, and because it's four and five energy, I would say these are probably potentially going to be like swift changes, like abrupt, unexpected, typically with five energy, we never know what we're going to get. 
uh, gotta be comfortable with the uncomfortableness type thing. Um, but the four, like I said, it's kind of bringing me to a foundation of something. So it could be like the foundation of a relationship, the foundation of a business, the foundation of, again, your physical body that you're, you know, like the home type thing. So just pay attention to whatever comes up for you around sort of those areas. Uh, but again, because it's five energy, it's, it's really asking you to be adaptable, um, to, uh, yeah, kind of go with the flow as much as possible to see where this energy sort of takes you. And, um, and then, you know, again, stay present through the, through, through the movement, through the change. Um, but then, yeah, see where it takes you and then figure out where, you know, your next steps and where to move from that. It is interesting also though, because we have the nine energy of that we're working with collectively, which very much is about, you know, those big ideas and being very present with those ideas and planning that change right but for you all with this full moon five energy is often like the change is coming type thing and it comes pretty quickly and you can't really plan for it type thing um and we're really just asked to be adaptable through it and figure it out as we go and be patient as we move through whatever it is that we're moving through and it doesn't have to be bad it's nothing to fear nothing like that it's just a call again to pack your patience and be adaptable, right? Through whatever this is. But I do think it's going to be some kind of a shift or a change or transformation or a closure of some sort that through that closure creates an environment of change um, that you'll have to move through and figure out and adapt to and yeah, through your choices type thing. So, But I do think that's interesting too, that it's coming up in December. It's almost like creating the environment for something new, something different, something more aligned to sort of uh, present itself to you in the coming months in 2023 as we step into a new energetic cycle. So that can be very beautiful. Again, you just have to kind of be adaptable and, and go with the flow. At the end of the month on December 23rd, we have a new moon that for you all is bringing this energy of the 11-2. And now that is incredibly beautiful energy for 33s. This is very inspiring energy. It is the energy of the inspirational leader. So there's a lot of inspiration potentially coming in for you all. I would 100% say uh, at this new moon, especially for 33s, because you've got the energy of your life path, which is 33 that you're working with every day anyway. Um, You've got the energy of the nine that we're working with collectively this month. And then you have the energy of the 11. This is prime real estate, (laughs) prime real estate for big dreams coming through, big inspirations, big ideas, you know, vivid imagination to just the hills, right? And so definitely, I would say if there's ever been a time for you to write down your dreams, when as soon as you wake up, right, because it's that's usually when we remember them the most. If the time is now during this new moon, I would say a few days leading up to it a few days after, especially this one is probably going to be the most concentrated, the most potent. Um, Definitely pay attention to those daydreams, the night dreams, and your imagination. This would be a great time, even if you um, aren't, you know, don't consider yourself an artist. This would be a great time to just come up with a hobby where you don't have to think, like in some kind of creative um, output. Like, so again, like maybe finger painting or just like abstract painting or just doodling or whatever this would be a great time for you to do that, to like partake in that, um, or like rock painting or something. I don't know, just something where it doesn't take a whole lot of like mental thought, right. Where you can just kind of like lose yourself in it and see what comes through for you. Like what ideas, what inspiration do you get and write them down? You don't have to explore them right then. Just write them down and just see what, where all that takes you. I say this because again, we've got the energy of the 11, we've got the energy of the nine, and then you are 33, right? So there is a lot here about like having some wide open channels to higher realms, to the unseen. And, you know, ultimately it's like, this is a partnership between us, you know, the soul and the, the universe, right? The unseen. And so it's kind of like, 
Uh, and we get to create it through this physical body and so, and make it something tangible. And so, yeah, I just feel like this is going to be a time when, uh, those channels are wide open and some great things can come through for you all at this time. Uh, not necessarily for you to take action on just yet, but I just think it's really beautiful that at the end of the month of December, at the end of 2022, there's just this very, um, yeah, almost like a portal being opened for you all to just get some great ideas and then take some time to explore them and see what sticks and see what doesn't, but play with it, right? Like, don't try to like understand it. Don't try to like put logic to it. Just flow with it. Just go with it. I mean, 33s are very, um, intuitive anyway. And so, and very psychic and all of these things, right? This could be a very potent, uh, end of the year for you. As far as again, like big intuitive hits, big psychic downloads, all of those things. So definitely, definitely, definitely pay attention to what comes in for you and don't judge it. Just explore it, play with it, see, see where it takes you. So yeah, loving this for you all and loving dove energy coming through too. And, you know, I think it's also just a reminder with dove just to nurture yourself as well, especially, you know, during the holidays. And if you celebrate and all of those things, it's like, this is an opportunity for 33 sixes to really overgive. And so you just want to make sure that you're checking in with yourself and just making sure that you are, um, refilling your cup before you fill up everybody else's. All right, 33s, with that, I will wish you a very happy holiday season and a beautiful new year, and I will see you in 2023. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.